Good morning and hello again. It's uh, Joey John McGuire. I'm back in Hammersmith at my uh, favourite uh, Wetherspoons pub, uh, the Plough and Harrow. Uh, it snowed last night, first snow of the winter, and I'm about to recite my latest poem, Temporarily Dead. Here goes. Those morning disturbances I've witnessed many in my lifetime, annoyingly predictable sleep interrupters. Haven't we all been woken by the rattle of the workman's jackhammer? Worse still, the greater harmonious clatter of two workmen's jackhammers. Or that timeless annoyance, the incessant pitter-patter and untimely crack of the lashing rain rattling the window pane always rudely awakening, a gentle tap with the fingernails more than enough to suffice. The nightmare scream of a ravenous baby, and it's only five o'clock, or that stupid blackbird that you should have shot years ago starts singing at midnight, still chirp chirping away come daylight. Too late now, though, you should have shot it years ago. The piercing sirens of emergency services cutting through the early morning trafficless roads and my head, obviously on the coffee run, and ouch, my nose is freezing. The jealous screech from the underground, come on, one up, all up, as the first train stretches the frozen rails. I know it's exactly five o'clock by now, time to rise and face the world again. But what's this I hear, this stranger, strangeness in my muffled ear? Could it be the soft hush after a snowstorm, my lucky day saved by the flat fart of winter? I peer from my window, taking care not to lose touch with my memory mattress, and not to overexpose a single millimetre of precious flesh other than my nose and eyelids, as curiosity gets the better of me. And behold, my efforts rewarded by a mild-mannered layering of soft white snow, feathered flakes of happiness for all to see, the, mil the milkman yet to break its silence with his heavy-footed tread. I make a command decision, use my airborne initiative, never slow to take advantage of a situation, and convince myself, wrong snow, wrong leaves, whatever, so back to sleep in a full slumber, the morning put on pause, with its sounds temporarily dead.